The Chart of the Week is presented by Glassnode, the leading on-chain intelligence platform. In today's Chart of the Week, we're delving into the monthly sum of revived supply, which is a fairly complex metric, but it offers a unique perspective on the current behavior of long-term Bitcoin holders. The key component of this metric is the revived supply, which represents coins older than a year that are re-entering the market. By applying a Z-score over a two-year period, we can see phases where these coins are being spent at a rate that's statistically significant in comparison to the two years prior. As we know Bitcoin tends to operate in four-year cycles, focusing on a two-year period means we can look to identify these inflection points when the market is transitioning from a bear to a bull market and vice versa. So these high expenditure periods that we can see here in green, they often correlate with two scenarios. The first of which is during uptrends. We can see a surge in profit taking and these old coins re-entering the market to lock in profits. And the second is during downtrends. We can see an influx of this revived supply when long-term holders are reacting and panic selling. So given Bitcoin's recent run to the upside in the past couple of weeks, it's interesting to see if any long-term holders attempted to take any profits. Well, the Z-score actually suggests we're in a regime of coin dormancy. So in other words, there are minimal volumes of revived supply that we can see reacting to these recent price moves. And this means that long-term holders remain largely unimpressed by any of the unrealized profits that they're currently sitting on. So what can we take from this? Well, when the long-term holders aren't spending, it suggests a level of confidence in the market's future trajectory. From a trading standpoint, this can also be an indicator of market stability. As we can see from the metric, we have a clear absence of any old coins being spent and re-entering the current market, meaning there is less potential for sudden supply-driven price shifts. So on that note, if you find any of these insights useful, but are still relatively new to the world of on-chain data, then we encourage you to take a look at our new beginner guides. They'll help you wrap your head around some of the foundational on-chain concepts that we often refer to here in Chart of the Week and also in the Week on Chain. You can find a link to these below if you want to check them out. We'll see you again next week with more on-chain insights from Glassnode.